QR codes are these funny looking little things like I have here on my screen that we just see everywhere anymore. And the reason why we see them everywhere is because they're really such a great way to communicate and to also provide information with just a quick scan of your mobile device and then you can access websites and find information for products and things that we need. Now I think that QR codes have a great use in the classroom, especially for our little kids, like our kindergartners, first graders, whenever we need them to be self-directed to find information so that we can free up the classroom to work with small groups. But sometimes it can be difficult to get these out into the hands of kids without having to spend a lot of time ourselves. So I've created a little bit of a hack here with QR codes. So I've made this spreadsheet and I have created it so that I have my student's last name, their first name, and then the websites. Let me kind of explain this a little bit here. I'm thinking that maybe I teach first grade and of four students, I have two that are reading. Really, they're still kind of on a kindergarten level looking at their letters and sounds. I have this student who is on level, and I have this student who is above level. So if I needed to provide them with a link to go to whenever I'm again working with small groups, I have put it over here in this column. Okay, now this tool that I'm using was not made for education, so it has a few faults. Like I said, this is a hack. And so I want you to notice, first of all, that the site I have chosen doesn't have any funny characters in it, and it also doesn't have any underscores in it. Okay, that's actually very important. All of this information over here with the level that is just for the teacher's information. It really doesn't matter that that's there or not. I just think that I would need to see it. But we do need to have last name and then first name and then the website. So I've installed this add-on and it's called QR Code Generator. So if you don't already have this add-on, you would just go to Get Add-ons and then it's going to pop up and you would search for it, QR code. Now there's two of them, and I want to have this one here, QR code generator. So make sure that's the one that you get. Okay, so now I'm going to go to add-ons. I'm going to go to QR code generator, and I'm going to click start. Now when this loads, you'll see here that it says QR codes, but then it has the second one that says ID cards. This is the second part of the hack. It would make sense for us to use the QR codes, but here's what happens. Let me go ahead and just demonstrate to you. If I choose the student's name, if I just select that and then hit generate, I'm going to click on Open Document, and this is the QR codes that have just been generated. And there's a couple of problems whenever these finally come up. First of all, I don't know which one is Susie's, Bobby's, Johnny's, or Sally's, because they don't have their names on it. The second thing is, because I highlighted the first name column, these QR codes are just going to go to a text that has that student's name. So that's not what I want. What I want to be able to do is to provide the website for my students. So I'm going to click where it says ID cards. Okay, this is actually a way for people to clock in and out at work, um, but we're going to use it so that students can get to the websites they need to go to. So you can see here that I've got this saved as a document. I want to include the employee, the employee name that's going to be my student, and I do want it to draw a border around there. Okay, So I have to select three different rows. 
and I'm not going to actually come up here and highlight the entire row because I don't want the word last name to be a QR code. I just want Jones, Smith, Lee, Johnson, the student's first names, and then the website. And then I'll click Generate. Now it's done. I'm going to click Open Document, and this one's going to look different than the one we just saw. Okay, so see now it gives me the students' names, and it gives me the link that they're going to. Okay, now I had these actually um, so that they were leveled, and you can see here Sally says level K, Bobby says level K, but Susie says level A learn to read and Johnny says level B okay now I am going to take my mobile device I'm going to open up the QR code generator the scanner and I'm just going to hover over that with them so now you can see that it gives me the student's name and then a link to that address and then if I click on it it will open up that website now this one happened to be a website that also had an app so again choose carefully but if you scroll down on there then the students can still see where they need to go so that's one way that you can use QR codes to differentiate in your classroom and see how we can just take one tool that was created for one thing and see what we can do to tweak it and make it work for us.